What's going on guys? My name is Chris and today I'm going to be talking about my top five favorite movie musicals. I feel like this is a genre that doesn't get enough appreciation in the movie community, so I decided I would sit down and talk about my favorite movies from the genre because it's one that I really love and I feel like it's slept on by a lot of people. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm just going to quickly talk about a few honorable mentions and then I'm going to get right into my top five. So my honorable mentions are movies that are not necessarily full-blown musicals, but they have a lot of musical elements to them and they are A Star is Born, Rocket Man, and Grease, which is actually a full-fledged musical. It just barely missed the cut. So coming in at number five for me is going to be West Side Story. This movie actually won Best Picture, and it's getting a remake uh, directed by Steven Spielberg that is slated to come out later this year, so I'm excited to see the modern take on it. But the thing I love about this movie is how it tackles class issues, especially for a movie that came out in the 60s. It's kind of relevant to what's going on in the world today, and I think that that's very powerful and a message that has stood the test of time. But the songs are really catchy in this one. I actually listened to some of them in my car, not as much as other musicals. These two rival gangs, the Jets and the Sharks, are up against each other throughout the whole movie. There's actually some intense action moments here, believe it or not. And the drama is at an all-time high throughout this movie. It really does pull on your heartstrings towards the end there. So West Side Story is one that I've always kind of enjoyed. It's not one I rewatch as much as the others on this list. Coming in at number four for me is The Wizard of Oz, an all-time classic movie that everyone has to see at some point in their lives. Arguably, this might be the most iconic movie ever made. Dorothy and her red slippers alone is iconic enough, but when you take into account the music, like Follow the Yellow Brick Road, Somewhere Over the Rainbow, those are both really great songs in this movie. It's actually spawned Wicked, an entire Broadway music based off of The Wizard of Oz, as well as The Wiz. There have been so many different interpretations of the story because it's timeless. I think the main reason this movie resonates with me, as well as so many film fans and people in general, is because you can relate to each of the characters. There's the Tin Man, the Cowardly Lion, and the Scarecrow. Each of them have different traits that apply to different people in different situations in life. So heading into my top three, these are the movies that I adore more than the others, just because I rewatch them the most. And coming in at number three is The Sound of Music. Uh, the imagery of the loan of Julie Andrews in the mountains in Austria singing and the, the cinematography in that scene, it gives me chills. It sends me back to my childhood. The Sound of Music song itself is so, so good. And Do Re Mi is another iconic piece of music. The one that I listen to the most, I think, is my favorite things because whenever I get super stressed out or worried, I'll pop in my earbuds and I'll listen to the song and it'll be like, just take it easy, relax. There's nothing to worry about. Just think about stuff that you love. And that's something that this movie does so well is each song kind of applies to a different part of my life in a way that I can listen to this music, feel good, have a little bit of escapism and take something from it. And each time I rewatch this movie, it kind of just makes me feel so happy in the end. While it's almost three hours long, the messages here about family are very powerful, and I just love the sound of music. And yes, it also won Best Picture, just like West Side Story did. So the musical genre has some Best Picture winners. It's pretty crazy. Coming in at number two for me, though, is La La Land, directed by Damien Chazelle. And this movie is a masterpiece, in my opinion. Straight up, I love this movie to death. I think that Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone portray this romance to perfection. I think it's so genuine and realistic and what breaks my heart about this movie is that it tackles the idea of choosing your true love or choosing your true passion and each character represents that because Sebastian wants to open up his jazz club and Emma Stone's character Mia wants to be a, an actress it's so tragic in the end as they're lovers but they can't really commit to one another because their passions get in the way and I think this is something that everyone will have to deal with at some point in their lives the music in this movie is so so great um, City of Stars one of my favorite tunes from this movie as well as Another Day of Sun and A Lovely Night. That might be my favorite because it's so catchy. That's the scene where they're dancing in LA and the background is absolutely beautiful with the sunset. The main takeaway from this movie is the struggle that comes from being an artist. You're gonna have these personal struggles with your relationship and life itself. I think Damien Chazelle created a masterful film with this one. But my favorite musical is Singing in the Rain. I absolutely love this golden era classic Hollywood film and the music Singing in the Rain, like the song itself, one of the most iconic dance scenes ever. And I actually <laughs> took a dance class in high school with some of my friends. It was kind of like for fun, but also you actually learned how to dance. And we did a Singing in the Rain dance and that was so much fun. But that's a little side note. Gene Kelly and Donald O'Connor's characters are kind of partners in crime. They're really great dance partners. And what this movie does so well is it's kind of a movie about movie making, which are some of my favorites. But when it comes down to the musical elements, the songs are great. Debbie Reynolds is in there. And Good Morning, one of the most iconic songs from this movie. It's so, so catchy. There's a Broadway sequence that's like 20 minutes of the movie. 
And while that, that sequence isn't necessarily my favorite, I think that it's a testament to how much work was put into this movie, and the choreography is outstanding throughout this entire movie, but that scene in particular is great. Donald O'Connor's uh, sequence where he sings Make Him Laugh, I think that most of that was done in one take, and that's super impressive. But anytime I'm feeling down, I could put on Singing in the Rain or to listen to the soundtrack in my car, and I'll automatically have a smile on my face, and I'll feel better about my day. It just makes me feel so happy in the end. I, I love movies that do this to me, and Singing in the Rain is a prime example of that. It makes for one of the most classic Hollywood musicals of all time, and probably the pinnacle and peak of this genre. So yeah, guys, that's a wrap for my top five favorite musicals video. I just wanted to make a quick little video about this genre. Like I said, I feel like not a lot of people love it as much as I do, and I wanted to get it out there. And there's a lot of musicals that I still need to see, definitely. They're on my watch list, so you guys might see some of those in future updates. Be sure to like this video, comment down below your favorite musicals, and if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel, because I've got a lot of videos planned in the future, live streams, collabs, all that good stuff, and I might have something pretty special in the works, so just stay tuned for all that. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and until next time, I'll see you guys later.